Look, mainstream society thinks Christianity is weird about sex. It thinks we're repressed, but thanks to the clergy abuse crisis, it thinks that we're massively hypocritical. You know, it says, thou shalt not have sex if you want to be a priest and be truly holy. And yet how many people, tragically, have fallen way below that and hurt children and had de facto marriages and broken the hearts of women? The studies on that globally are tragic. And I think we need to repair the damage done by that. Why is that damage there? Because of dumb ideas about sex inherited from Greek philosophy. I think we need to get biblical about sexuality again. And if we do, two things will happen. Number one, we'll live better. And the world won't look at Christians and say, what a, what a weird lot. They'll see that we have great marriages. And Christians ought to be known for having the best sex. We're having sex that involves the soul. And secondly, I think we'll start to make sense when we talk about sex uh, in public. I think we need to talk about it a lot more. I think we need to give reasons for why Christian morality makes sense and makes the best life. Uh, particularly in the same-sex debate. I think that's a, an urgent need that the church actually speaks very strategically so that we're not misunderstood. But, and, and I've heard people at this forum giving talks on those topics where you just say, that makes sense. Uh, but I, I think the Song of Songs has a lot to offer us in apologetics, both the apologetics of a life well lived and also the apologetics of giving a reason for, for the faith and the morality uh, that we have.